34-year-old Carlos Anglero, an Okoe police officer, is charged with shooting into an Okoe home in the Brookstone subdivision on February 6, 2016. Do you see the person who you saw firing into that house on that day here in this courtroom? Yes. And if you could, just point him out and describe what he's wearing. It's Officer Anglero. He's in a blue suit. Anglero and Officer Stephanie Roberts You're responded to Bellhaven Falls for a domestic, domestic disturbance, but they were at the wrong house. Okoe homeowner Christopher Lewis says someone woke him up around midnight, banging on his door and ringing his doorbell. Lewis testified he never opened the front door. He says he got his gun from his bedroom after no one identified themselves. I started to dive after the first shot went past my left ear and the left side of my face and smelled the gunpowder. The bullets hit the family's window and went through the wall. This is home surveillance of what appears to be an officer with a gun. At the time, I assumed it was coming from the inside, but what I know about ballistics, yes, it, it was obvious it was from the outside. The state introduced the officer's 9mm Glock into evidence. A crime scene tech we're testified that case. four shots were fired from uh, his firearm, yeah. two from his partner, and two other bullets were beyond damage that right. cannot be positively identified. The family was ordered to go outside with their hands up. Christopher Lewis said he left gun his gun inside the home. Lewis says he never fired his weapon. Meanwhile, the state has rested, and the defense will begin calling its two witnesses tomorrow morning, including the defendant, Officer Carlos Anglera. Court resumes at 10 a.m. I'm Gail Pascal Brown at the Orange County Courthouse for West 2 News.